Welcome back to Attic Jams. I'm Sarah Rodriguez. Rick, my special guest of the evening. This is Rick Keynes, and he's here to hang out with me, play some music, show us some stuff that he's been doing as well. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having me on the show. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, so I've been doing this podcast for the past uh, three months now uh, called Off the Floor. Yeah. And it showcases local musicians um, that are just kind of up and coming. Uh, I do like a 10-minute interview with them and showcase about 20 minutes of their music each episode. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's going great. Uh, so far, I've had uh, eight guests on there, um, which we'll hear, I guess we'll hear a couple. Yeah, we'll hear a couple. We have, um, I think we have three uh, carefully selected musicians that mm -hmm. we're going to play for you tonight. Um, the first one being Kaya Ko, and I know that she's also a really awesome freestyler. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they're uh, really great in a lot of different genres of music. Um, uh, but what we're going to be hearing, I guess, is uh, more of like an acoustic sort of thing. Yeah, it's very acoustic beautiful. Vibe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was giving it a listen the other day, you know? It's kind of like, I was actually, when I listen to music, I'm usually like in the bathtub, so I was going to say really nice bath music for sure. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it, um, it definitely made the list. So um, I think we're going to play that for you now. We're going to come back in a little bit. I also have uh, Dora Jar coming up next with Wizard. But um, first, we're going to hear from Kaya, and I hope you guys enjoy. We'll catch you in a bit. I don't wanna be high no more. I just smoke and drink cause I don't wanna think about all of the times I lost. And I don't want to die, but it's hard to live and I can't forgive my thoughts. I try to forgive myself, I just can't get me off my back. Seems like I just cannot relax, but I don't want I don't want to be high no more No Now I've been smoking too much Filling my body with garbage Drinking away all my regrets I bet you won't see me the same No more when I'm depressed Been on the of the deep end and I can't depend on my reasons for me to stay the demons keep me at bay now I'm staring down the barrel of my ego addictions beckoning me to just let go I've been good now I swear I'm going backward where's the safety I forgot the password back on my shit again I swear to God I try but it's hard having friends when I can't pretend like I'm one of them cause I'm still making amends and I don't wanna be high no more I don't wanna be high no more no. I don't wanna be high no more no. Back to the acoustics, swear to God I lose it Every single day I'm simply facing the music Truth is, I can taste success and then I lose it Ooh shit, slips away so fast it's confusing Was feeling so clueless From the drugs I was abusing I used to think that I was lucid Truth is, I was just high I don't wanna be high no more just smoke and drink Cause I don't wanna think About all of the times I lost And I don't want to die But it's hard to live And I can't forgive my thoughts I try to forgive myself I just can't get me off my back Seems like I just cannot relax But I don't wanna be high no more
beautiful, beautiful song. Um, joining me in the booth is Rick Keynes. Um, you just heard uh, Kaya, um, and she just did a song for Off the Floor for Rick's podcast that you've been doing. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that, and like also, is that has that been like released and or anything yet? Uh, that's uh, that song's been released on the channel, um, uh, which is Off the Floor. You can find it on YouTube, uh, Off the Floor Vancouver, if if you search it. Because the term, uh, I think it's a great name, but <laughs> the term off the floor is so present in like in like all these videos. So just search up off the floor Vancouver on YouTube. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be releasing her full episode with okay. uh, four uh, of her original songs uh, this week, uh, probably Tuesday. Uh, whenever I get the editing done, honestly. Whenever you yeah. get the, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, with, with an interview and uh, she'll be, I think, the ninth um, artist that's been on there. Yeah, you've been um, having a lot of artists come on. Yeah, yeah, I've been uh, really um, humbled by the support that I've been getting from the community, and like everyone just thinks it's like a great idea, and and uh, a lot of people just want to be on the show and and get their music out there, and um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it's really important that um, we kind of build like a community of musicians that sort of you know um, work together and uh, and make the music scene here like a lot better than yeah lift each other up a little bit because yeah. I know it's hard like a lot of people come from out of town and stuff like that too and like I've had friends say like you know like back home like in Nova Scotia or Ontario it's like we used to jam all the time like there would be like a lot of like a really big community of musicians that would just like hang out and jam together and I feel like coming from different places and like Vancouver's not the friendliest city in the entire world. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah unfortunately, it's uh, not. It can it's, be, but yeah. It can be. It but, can be. Yeah, I know what you mean. If you know someone who knows somebody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Getting your first foot in the door is a little, uh, yeah. Yeah, it can be tough. So I think it's yeah. really good that you're like reaching out and like meeting these musicians and also like, you know, them seeing other musicians on mm -hmm, the show. Mm -hmm. They're like, maybe you can ask questions about that and maybe they make it a connection that would never have been made if you didn't have them on. Yeah, because... So. I don't think there's any shortage of uh, talented musicians in the city. It's just no. that uh, the connection and the platform for people to sort of work together and collaborate um, isn't quite there, I think. Um, so, and I'm trying to change that. Yeah. Well, I think you're doing a great job. Um, so we have the next artist that was also on your podcast, Off the Floor, uh, Angie Faith. Mm -hmm. So uh, Here I Go Again is the name of the song. I hope you guys enjoy. You're listening to 101.9 FM CITR, UBC's community radio station. I'm Sarah Rodriguez, and we're going to catch you in a little bit. So this song here is called Here I Go Again. Nothing is the same ever since you walked away Tried to find words but I could barely breathe You never saw a single tear cause you were never really here Now all I have left is your memory Hands are shaking, my heart is breaking over time inside my chest. It's hard to stay strong. Me. My hands are shaking 
Um, this is Attic Jams. I'm Sarah Rodriguez. Joining me in the booth is Rick Keynes. He's <laughs> currently working on a podcast. It's a really cool concept. Um, he's interviewing a lot of local musicians. He's also doing like full full songs and videos as mm-hmm. well as doing interviews. Yeah, and, recorded live off the floor. Yeah, r- live off the floor, exactly. <laughs> um, we were talking about stickers. He's going to make stickers. They're going to be sick. Um, there was a couple ideas bouncing around there, but mm-hmm. maybe, maybe we won't mention them on the air. Um <laughs> Anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of ask you, what was your inspiration behind all of this? Like, what made you, like, wake up one day and say, like, hey, I want to, like, put my effort into that? Because I know mm. you went to school for acting. Yes. You're also a musician. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, um, so, basically, I guess it's kind of like a marrying of the two uh, concepts. Uh, and we had the writer strike this year, so acting's been pretty dead. Yeah. And I've been getting more back into music. And um, two things came. I, I got ran evicted. Uh, surprise, surprise, in, Shh, in Vancouver. The bastards. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? Um, so I ended up moving into this uh, new place with a bunch of my roommates. And, and, and the living room is, is an amphitheater. It's like sounds so crazy in there. I'm yeah. actually like really lucky. It's, it's an amazing place to play and jam. And then two of my friends uh, from the Bastards and the Buzzards, uh, yeah. they're um, they're one of the first episodes on the podcast. Okay, okay, um, yeah, yeah. They're like a couple. Uh, they're friends of mine for like twenty years, and they came here and got married. Um, yeah. And I was like, man, we should uh, record you guys here, and I'll start this podcast. And also, yeah. um, Tiny Desk Concerts is a big influence of mine. I really like that sort of vibe. Yeah. And I'm kind of doing the similar thing, but uh, with a bit of an interview as well. Yeah, I also yeah. wanted to say you were showing me um, kind of when we were listening to the music uh, before we came on back in here, but we were talking about something you did for Lumiere Fest as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, t- Televibin. Uh, I did that with yeah. my friend Alejo and uh, Brandon Donaldson, who Brandon is a DJ and he's also on, uh, also known as Tungsten Crook, and he's on the mm-hmm. podcast as well, episode three. Yeah. Uh, he's a great DJ, like 20 year veteran DJ. You know, he was around before all this newfangled technology. Like, I, sorry if so I he just, spins vinyl. Yeah, basically. <laughs> sorry if I just dated you, Brandon. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, that's uh, that's a, like a soundstage thing that we just did for Lumiere Festival. And yeah. we're going to look at doing a lot of other festivals uh, coming up uh, yeah. next summer. It's going to be great. Um, and yeah, uh, marrying all the things together, maybe like have some, uh, televibe and maybe have like a little off the floor booth. Um, yeah, yeah you know, that's awesome. Maybe, I, I love yeah. that idea for you. Shout out to Attic Jams there. Oh yeah. Like. Thanks guys. Yeah. 101.9 FM. That's right. Um, CITR. <laughs> um, anyway, we're, uh, we also have off for, from your podcast, mm-hmm. there is Johnny No Cash. Johnny No Cash. Yes. yes. Tell me about Johnny No Cash. Oh, uh, he's a, he's a legend. He's a great guy. He just moved here though, not too long ago from, uh, from Ontario, yeah. Um, just a just a great salt of the earth kind of guy. Um, yeah. uh, punk sort of country folk rock sort of. He's, he's, yeah. he's all over the place, but he's a great songwriter. And uh, yeah, he's one of those fourth people on my show. And I really hope you guys enjoy this song that's coming up because uh, it's a 
banger. It's a banger. All right, this is Johnny No Cash. Uh, Rick Haynes is joining me in the booth, and you're tuned into Attic Jams. You're listening to Attic Jams. Um, the show is coming to a close, sadly. Um, it's 9.58 now. Um, but joining me is Rick Haynes. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. It's been like a pleasure hanging out and talking and just like getting to know more about your new passion project. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for having me on the show yeah. and uh, getting to talk about Off the Floor. Because, um, yeah, I'm really passionate about this. I do think this is my calling, yeah. if you will, to um, help uh help improve the music scene and, and help get other artists known and stuff like that. I've been uh, trying to, you know, write my own stuff and uh, and see Because you play, you play guitar. I and play guitar, to... mandolin, sing, yeah. The I, mandolin, yeah, how the romantic. Mandolin. It, <laughs> uh, it's European. Yes. So is the guitar, though. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, so what's coming up next for Off the Floor? Um, well, the next thing, uh, we're going to have uh, Kaya... Uh, Kaya Cole um, released this week, and yep. then another artist, Ash Mickey, and then uh, just recording and continuing to make these episodes, and um, yeah. hopefully get new subscribers on the YouTube channel and the Spotify, and yeah, you can find us on uh, YouTube, Spotify, um, uh, Instagram at six oh four off the floor, um, and uh, Facebook page just off the floor. All right, nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you, Rick, for joining me. Um, 
Thank yeah, you so you, much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. We've been having a really nice time. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the music tonight. Um, it was a very eclectic show because we were playing a bunch of stuff that was recorded for Off the Floor as well as some of my own personal favorites. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, if you want to find any of the songs that we played tonight, I'm going to be posting it in a podcast that's going to, like, come out. It's on CITR's website. So you just go CITR, add a jams, and then it pops up usually in the next week or two. Um, but probably this week. I'll, I won't be lazy about it, guys. I'll do it.